Right, I thought I'd do a video of um, skin of the dogfish. Can't remember if I've done one before or not. Anyway, here we got the little doggy. The only thing I caught last night on Chesil. What you'll need, sharp knife, and in a minute, a pair of pliers. Now this is already gutted on the beach. So the first thing we want to do, take your knife, take all the fins off. Try and keep my arm out of the way of the camera. While you're at it, you can take away all this belly flap. Come in the front of these fins. Really need a sharp knife for getting through the skin of doggies. They are like cutting through sandpaper. side I try not to take off too much meat whilst removing these fins about before the last fin I'll just cut straight through because to be fair there isn't much meat on this little bit here. So now what you want to do behind the head in front of the gills just make a cut through here but just through the skin not into the actual meat so let's give me knife a quick sharpen go so yeah across here pretty much there we go we're up behind the girls there same with this side so we'll go about this angle got the point of the cut and very carefully slice under it just so you've got a little flap of skin here then move your knife out of the way and anything else you like punch as your hand slips and grip the little flap you've just pulled up um cat sorry hold the head and peel backwards when you get to a bit here sort of like this where it's picking up quite a bit of meat just hold it just give it a little slice of your knife 
just to free the skin up. Otherwise you'll end up pulling off too much meat. There we go. Then grab the skin a bit closer to the body. Try and keep this in shot. Then grab it a bit closer again on the head. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, there we go. We got catching a bit too much meat there. So trim that side. Lightly trim that side. To be honest, as we've already torn it, pull that bit of skin off. Start again on the fresh bit. Right, well, I've just punched my tripod and broken my phone mount, so uh, we'll switch to the GoPro and we'll carry on. Hopefully, you can see just as well. Again. Just a bit too much meat catching the skin that side. Same on this side. Pull the sides a bit to free it up. So we know we're just pulling the skin again. There we go. Just a thought. That's why I always do it. I'm just wondering. It always gets tight here where you're obviously right around the body. I'm going to cut a sliver out of the skin here, all the way down the back. See if that just makes it a little bit easier for me. Might work, it might not. So. Down to where we took that anal fin off. A bit of fin there it seems. Get the view out of the way. Let me see what I'm doing. Now right, let's see. That makes peeling this off any easier. Probably tear in a minute because this is where one of the fins was. There we go. So just grab, grab the corner of it. Keep pulling it up. Oh, nearly had the fucking tripod again. <laughs> but we are almost there. It's a bit easier if I just pull from the side each time. with a proper pair of skinning pliers really but it's something I'll buy eventually. Not that you need them, you can do it with a normal pair of pliers. Is that all of it? Yeah, there we go. There you go. One skin doggy. Let's move the camera a little bit. So once you've skinned him, basically going with the cartilage where the gills were, were, sorry, just chop the head off and what I'll do is I'll get to where the back of the belly cover or the end of the belly cavity was, chop straight down. Now what we'll do is take the cartilage out the middle, we'll see. 
Doggies don't have any bones, there is just a row of cartilage down the middle. So, as you can see it right in the middle there, so what you're going to do is just put your knife in, well, maybe a 45 degree angle, so you can feel it run along the cartilage and just gently cut through. It'll make a slight cut. As you can see, you're just going to cut right along the side of this bit of cartilage. Hopefully, you can see on this camera. So, holding flat, you can just you can feel the point of the blade running along the cartilage. About that side. There you go. One little fillet there. And then I'll do the same the other side. Which way is best to do this? Uh, chop that bit off. No. Again, start the cut. So you're on top of the cartilage, just holding flat, uh, I don't know, probably a 20 degree angle, something like that, just so you can feel the blade running across. There we go, another nice fillet. And all you're left with is, there's a little bit of meat, not much, in the cartilage. The tail section is a bit easier because you haven't got the belly cavity in the way. So start your cut along the cartilage. Hold him flat. Obviously it's a sharp knife, so be careful with your hands if you're doing this for the first time. There we go. Flip him over, same the other side. Missed a bit. Hope my hands aren't too much in the way of this video. Try and sort of hold it here so you can see what I'm doing, which is a bit difficult. Cut my finger if I do that. Again, just your cartilage left. And you've got four nice fillets of doggy there. I think what I might do with these, they're going to go in the freezer for now, is I might just make some nice long gusions out of them butter them either butter and fry them with a bit of breadcrumbs or um won't make a dogfish stir fry haven't decided yet but anyway hopefully that's of use to someone until next time